Public School. I am your science teacher. We are learning chapter 10 gravitation. Now yesterday we learned about gravitation that uh, there is an attractive force pulling us or holding us on earth. That force we call it as a gravitational force, right? Because of that every object is at on, on earth and it's not leaving its place. It's not flying in the air, right? Now who first have observed this force that was Sir Isaac Newton. He was sitting under an apple tree and an apple fell down and finally he inferred that uh, why does an apple fell down only. Then we learn that anything which is moving in a circular form have a which force centripetal force which we call it as a central seeking force. Now the motion of the moon around the earth it is because of this centripetal force. Then we are going to learn today is called acceleration is inversely proportional to mass of an object. That means if we see acceleration, right? Acceleration is inversely proportional to mass of an object. That if the mass is more, the acceleration will be less. If the mass will be less, the acceleration will be more. Simple. Now you know all all solar system, all the planets go around the sun, right? There exists a force between all the planets now you know all planets will be on its place they will not move from one place to another they they revolve on its own orbit it is because they are applying force on each other so it is like this there is not one side force both objects are applying force on each other thus we can say all objects in the universe attract each other. In simple words, we can say all object means if you talk about you and some person sitting next to you, or you on earth, you and table and everything, they all attract each other. And this force of attraction we call it as a gravitational force. So the next question is how much force is that? So let's see. For that, we have universal law of gravitation. Write down this thing, this law is very important, very, very important in your book. Mostly this will ask in your exam, 10.1.1, universal law of gravitation. Now, what is that? Suppose there is an object whose mass is small, uh, small m and there is one more object, bigger object whose mass is capital M. This is object A and this is object B. And them, there is a, they have a distance in between small d. What is the distance in between small d? Okay. So, these two objects are there, they apply force on each other and how do they define? They said force, force is directly proportional to the product of their masses and force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them, okay. So, what did they say? They have started looking or researching for the same and they said Every object in the universe attract each other, right? This is the law. See, I am telling you. Every object in the universe attract each other. And that force is directly proportional. If I write this both together, how do I write? Small m, capital M upon d square. So, this is the law. How do I speak? See, every object in the universe attract each other. And that force is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them and the force is along the line and the direction is along the line joining the centers. So, this is applying in this direction, this is applying in this direction. Let me show you, see. Can you see the highlighted part? Every object in the universe attracts each other with a force which is proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This force is along the line joining the centers of the objects, okay. Now, this is what I said. You have to write down this whole law. Let two objects A and B of mass small m and small b, the distance between them is small d, right. Now, this force is directly proportional to product of the masses and the force is between inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. When you write it together, it will be F capital M small m upon d square. Now, when we remove this proportionality sign, you know in physics or chemistry, whenever you remove a proportionality sign, 
you have to add one constant you have to add one constant and what is that constant they added capital g what is they added capital g now what is capital g capital g is called constant of proportionality and the name is universal gravitational constant okay capital g is called universal gravitational constant okay and the value of it is capital g right they find out the value as 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 11 and what is the unit newton meter square upon kg square Newton meter square upon kg square. So, this is very important and a famous law, universal law of gravitation. When they ask you state universal law, you have to write down this in a yellow portion. You have to draw this figure and you have to write until this yellow part. Okay, we have a question in the exercise. I will show you. And what is the value of g? This is asked as an MCQ 6.63 into 10. 673 into 10 raised to minus 11 and what is the SI unit? Newton meter square upon kg square. Okay. So, hope you understood. Very important law. Watch this video two times. Understand it very properly and if you have any question, you can ask me. It is very simple and easy to remember. Right. Thank you so much. That is it for today.